Have you ever wondered how you can afford the latest iPhone or even the newest jet that Elon Musk is traveling in? Have you ever wished to generate revenue with your Android apps without ads or purchases? Look no further. With this video sponsored, Monadata, you can do nothing and the money will start flowing in. The Monadata SDK is simple to add to any Android application. It will earn you money without much impact to the user experience. When users opt in to sharing data, Monadata collects anonymized usage data. Then Monadata shares the information with partners and you get paid monthly. Let's see how to integrate the Monadata SDK to your Android app. It's simple, but first we need to register for Monadata. After our account is activated, we can open the dashboard and we'll see an integrate SDK to your app section. Click on integrate to initialize the process. We need to link our app to Monadata, which is on the Google Play Store. We have the option to enter the details manually or export the data directly from the Google Play Store. We'll fill in all the app information and then click add. If we want to export the details from the Play Store, we'll simply add the app URL from the Play Store. Then in the My App section, we'll see our app that we just added and we can get the key from here. We now have the key that we can use while integrating Monadata to an Android app. Let's see how integration works. But there are some requirements. We have to have Compile SDK version 33 or higher, Android X, and Google Play Services Location 21 or higher. To add Monadata, we have a simple app in Kotlin where we'll do the integration. In the settings.gradle file, add the Monadata URL with your Monadata credentials like the username and password. Then in the build.gradle file, we'll add the Monadata dependency. If you don't have Java 8 enabled, there's one extra step, which is to add source compatibility and target compatibility as Java version dot version underscore one underscore eight. Now we need network permissions for our integration to work. To enable this, just add android.permission.access course location, android.permission.access find location, in the androidmanifest.xml file. We need to get the user's permission by using the onCreate method, which takes an array of permissions from the Android Manifest file and passes them to the activitycompact.requestPermissions with the request code of 100. We need to call one more method on request permission result to check if the permissions have been granted if the request code is 100. In the application class or in any activity of your app, simply add monadata.initialize to initialize the SDK and start the data collection. While we pass the unique key that we received earlier, and a true value, which means the data collection will automatically start. If we want to know whether the SDK is fully initialized, we can set an initialization listener that will be called when the initialization is complete. We also need to collect user consent in order to be able to monetize the app. You can choose any of the consent managers listed here. For me, I'm going to use the Google User Messaging Platform, or UMP. So I'll click the link here for the Android guide. Here are some prerequisites. Add the dependency for the Google User Messaging Platform SDK. In the application's entry point, the application class, will initialize UMP. Then request consent by creating a consent information instance and calling request consent info update. After the user interacts with the consent form, we can check the updated consent status using consentinformation.consentstatus. And that's it. That's how easy it is to integrate Monadata to an Android application. Thanks for watching. You'll now start making enough money to buy Elon Musk's favorite jet.